Howdy folks, thanks for joining me on this week's episode. I really appreciate each and every one of you being here. I want to start off this video with the verse of the day, and it comes from Romans 3, verses 23 and 24. So it's actually uh, verses of the day and not just one. But it starts in verse 23. It says, For everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard, yet God in His grace freely makes us right in His sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when He freed us from the penalty of our sins. As we're coming... Um, out of Easter uh, yesterday uh, as I'm filming this yesterday was Easter the whole purpose of, of Christ dying on the cross was for our sins and so that we could be made free and that we could have a way to heaven with God to be with God and so it's really super special to, and that's not even good words to describe um, what happened on the cross but it's uh, amazing it is the greatest gift that we have ever been given and i'm super thankful for that that there was a, a way that was made for us to be um, in eternity in heaven with with god and with with jesus and this is a great example in these verses uh, right here uh, about how gracious our god is that we serve and it starts first thing in verse 24 it says yet god in his grace freely makes us right in his sight there's not there wasn't something uh, that he gave to us and then said okay now you have to pay me in return it was a, a free uh, gift that was given to us and if you haven't done so i want to encourage you to uh, just pray just pray maybe you don't know the lord maybe you're starting early in your relationship with with christ but pick up the bible pick up uh, the phone call a friend that has a relationship with the lord pick up the word and just open it and start reading pray for an open heart for an open mind and, and pray uh, that your life would be changed because you stick with it I promise you that the Lord will work in you. Moving forward, I wanted to remind you guys of the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. We are at 55K right now. If we make it to 100,000 before this year is over, I will select a random one of you that is subscribed to this channel, and I will take you on an all-expenses-paid trip to the Real McCoy Ranch to shoot an exotic, or if uh, you want to, we'll go hunt whitetails at the other property uh, that we have this low-fence, free-ranging whitetail. So I think that'd be super cool. And I think that that would be a great way for me to give back to you guys because y'all have supported me over the years in my a little over seven years of being on YouTube. And I know that we all love to hunt for the most part. Um, most of you that are watching love to hunt. Some of you uh, would rather see me uh, fall with the hogs. But that's okay. For those of you that want to subscribe and you want the chance or we want the, ch the chance to win. The first thing that you can do, the first step that you can do right now is make sure that you're subscribed. It just so happens that this particular weekend with John and his brother and their two wives, John and Daniel and Angela and Gina, great, great people, awesome people. We had a fantastic time. And I showed you guys um, a portion of their weekend, a portion of their hunt out at the ranch at the Real McCoy. Uh, I think that video, yeah, the video was last week. And so this week is basically the other half of that. I split up the these two videos because one of them the one that you guys are seeing right now is going to be an exotic hunt and then the other one of course was the hogs if you haven't seen that one it will be linked down in the description below you guys can go check out that hog hunt it was a really really fun one but moving forward i'm going to start in on the first exotic that was taken of the weekend daniel harvested a black buck that i actually wanted to take myself unfortunately i say unfortunately i'm super happy for him I, it couldn't have gone to a better person this black buck was super unique you guys will get to see it as this video comes up and when it uh, i let it roll this black buck is super unique you don't see very many of them uh, like the one that daniel harvested and it was really kind of crazy how it all worked out because we had gone and set and the blinds that morning we made our mid-morning hunt which is uh, typical for us at the ranch we were looking for black buck we were looking for axis we were looking for fallow we were looking for a couple of different uh, species there and it just so happened that as we were cruising back into camp lo and behold there's three black buck hanging out on the corner of the property so we we're like well there's the opportunity <laughs> and we hadn't seen the black buck all weekend and it just happened the way that happened now for those of you that hunt in texas and you do um, quite a bit of hunting you know and will know that it is not illegal or against the law for you to shoot an animal 
sitting inside of a side-by-side, -side, especially an exotic. It is perfectly legal, and I know because every time I, I post videos of us hunting out of a side-by-side -side like this or one of the buggies down there at the ranch, somebody always comments, that's illegal, that's illegal. It might be in your state, and I have been in some states where it is illegal to do that. Just check your rules and regulations, but ladies and gentlemen, it, this is how a lot of hunting happens, especially in South Texas. And it's not just for exotics and whitetail. It is for... Uh, quail is well, also a lot of people hunt birds from high racks trucks side by sides you name it uh, road hunting and that kind of sounds bad but I, it's normal to me and for those of us that live in texas driving around and shooting stuff off of a side by side that's that's just what we grew up doing and it's normal for a lot of people and to a lot of people so like i said we're headed in from our morning hunt just so happens to be three black bucks they were a good Oh, I'd say 75, maybe maybe 100 yards somewhere in that that distance out in front of us. That Two of them kind of knew that we were there, spotted us, were looking at us. One of them just kind of looked away. And then there was one that was actually bedded down. And that buggy's quiet enough that we were able to just kind of slip right up on them. And originally they kind of got up and, and moved a little bit. And once they got back up in the brush thought they were hidden but they weren't hidden from the six millimeter <laughs> that daniel was shooting and it put the absolute smackdown on that black bug so i'm gonna let this footage roll you guys check it out hope you enjoy it no i don't it's unsafe Coming this way? Yep. You ready for him? You ready for him? Good shot. Just went down. Good shot. I can see the blood I put up like holy matter, you can see the blood just blow. <laughs> blow out. Well, what do you think there, big boy? Yeah, that thing is sweet. It's that awesome. sucker is sweet. Hey, look at those. You were flat. Where were you aiming? Right here? The, yeah, on the other's opposite side. Opposite side, yeah. Good shot. Wow, good shot. Huh, it weren't low, that's for sure. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry I kind of flinched just a little bit. It was my bad. I flinch on gunshots. I don't know why. I just when I'm filming, I do. Most of the time, I have a camera on a tripod. Unfortunately, I did not at this particular moment. However, as we get further into this video, I do want to tell you guys a pretty neat story. So, John has been hunting with me at the Real McCoy Ranch for over a year now. He I think he's hunted with us five or six times, and every time he's come out, our main focus has been an axis buck and he's killed a black buck he's killed an axis doe uh, multiple awdad hogs fallow seem like there's a couple other animals um, in there that john is, is taken and i've always for the most part that from what i can remember i've always been hunting with him it's always been me and him together me as as his guide and him obviously as the hunter and we had a, an axis buck this past weekend that fed up to I don't know, like 35, 40 yards, and John was going to let an arrow fly. And then last second, the buck just turned and, and walked out. 
So we hunted all weekend still after an access buck. We hunted in the, the blinds, we hunted in tree stands, we tried all kinds of different things. There was one thing that we didn't try and John decided to make a run for it and give it a shot on our last morning hunt. He had gone out, we fed corn in a, a wide open pasture area on the ranch that the axis really just loved to hang out in. And so we, they had fed the that open area, and waited, sat there and waited for a little while and didn't see a whole lot and saw pretty much nothing before that sitting in the blinds. So they decided to get out and do a little spot and stalking. And, I wish that I would have been sitting next to John. I made the joke that I've been John's bad luck uh, charm this entire uh, year, year and a half that he's been hunting with us because he ended up taking an access buck and I wasn't there to get it filmed on this camera. But he got the GoPro footage and I think that you guys will enjoy it. But a little more back to the story. They had fed this field. Nothing had popped out so they left, come back if I'm not mistaken, and there was some access there. Spooked him off, fed it again, and then John got on the ground. He was all by himself. Jerry left in the buggy, dr drove uh, to the other end of the ranch and just parked and waited. And John ended up sitting behind that tree for like, I think 30 minutes or so. But it, it wasn't the one that was in front of him. There was, it was part, partially the one that was in front of him that was covering him. But there was also a lot of brush and stuff around him and he was super duper patient and ended up letting an arrow fly on a very very nice hard horn axis buck and like i said i wish i could have been there but i just happened to miss out on that hunt that that mid-morning hunt i think he ended up shooting that uh, black or that black buck axis buck about 9 9 30 in the morning somewhere in there but uh he as you guys will see here he uh actually i'll wait until after i let this footage roll you'll enjoy this for just a minute and then i'll finish commentating the rest of it So what I was going to comment on was the fact that Axis are, they're so well known for ducking an arrow. And I think John took a, let an arrow fly, took a shot at about 35 yards or so. This Axis buck ducked, caught him in the spine, John knocked another arrow, let it fly, finished him off quick and super fast. And that's just the way that you want to do it. He had uh, an enormous body huge bodied axis buck and beautiful set of antlers and cape and everything to go right along with it so i'm super happy for john super glad and super stoked that he was able to finally get his axis buck out on the ranch and i've another short little side story for you guys is i've guided some other hunters uh, one of them in particular I, was a close friend of mine we sat in in one of the blinds back in february you, i posted the video you guys have probably seen it but he ended up taking an axis buck with his bow and that was his first trip to the ranch <laughs> not many people other than well, i was the only one for, for the longest time that had taken an axis buck with a bow out there and then a good friend of mine did it and then john did it and we've had lots of bucks that have hit the ground with rifles and now we're starting to build up some guys with some bows that have taken some bucks and we're making some stand changes so we can continue to do that but uh, i'm very excited 
for this uh, the rest of the spring and then what's coming this fall so if any of you guys want to book a trip out at the ranch with me as your personal guide hit me up and you can drop a comment down below and I'll get in touch with you. Um, you can shoot me an email. You can find me on basically all social media, Instagram, Facebook, so on and so forth, and I can get you guys set up. I would love to do that. And for all all the people that have been out and hunted with us over the last, like, four years, um, we've everybody's always had success for the most part and taken home something with them. They never left with an empty cooler, I will say that. Well, actually, there was one kid. He wore a cologne to the tree stand. Now, it's probably why he left empty-handed but anyway um, everybody always has a great time and especially with our accommodations our new accommodations um, the whole new lodge everybody has their own room shower etc and so I want you guys to come out and, and be a part of that participate out there with us and that it's always a phenomenal time one last time don't forget about the 100k giveaway the more people that subscribe the closer we get to 100,000 if we don't make it to 100,000 I can't give the trip away that's, uh, that's what I'm set on so 100k before the year's over and we're giving away an exotic hunt to one of you 75,000 I'm gonna do a giveaway there also I just haven't decided what it is yet that I'm going to do maybe another hog hunt I really don't know I'll be doing some thinking on it and if you guys have any ideas for a 75,000 uh, subscriber giveaway drop a comment down below I did have one person mention another bow give away another bow so we'll see about that i might just do that i might have to give away my vxr but we're gonna pump the brakes for just a minute and do some more thinking and uh, hopefully i can get some ideas from you guys as well thank y'all so much for watching y'all are amazing and i'll see you in just a few days Down to the river.